Hello and welcome to this uh, first lecture of this new section on defining your career goals for your personality development for a successful management career. So in this uh, particular section, we're going to help you learn how to define your career goals. That is the first step, right? In developing your personality, you want to achieve a particular, you want to be successful in your management career and the first step would be to define your career goal. So, and in this lecture, we'll talk about specifically that, how do you define an overall view of, how do you define your career goals? Right, ready for that? Right, so how do you think? How would you go about defining your career goals? Any thought? Any thoughts that come to your mind? Okay, let's take a look at what I think. So it all depends, as in life, it all depends on where you are in your management career journey. If you are a fresh MBA student still studying or got out of MBA, haven't got into a corporate ladder or corporate structure anywhere, it's going to be different. You have a long way to go as we will see, right? So it depends on where you are an MBA student. If you already have joined a corporate ladder, you could be at the bottom of the career, in the bottom of the management structure as a trainee or as a supervisor. You could be a management trainee uh, in a company like Hindustan Unilever. You could be a technical trainee in a company like uh, uh, Maruti and uh, you may be going into production area. You, so whatever you are, so you could be there and it will depend on again where you are. You could be a junior manager, middle manager or a, a functional director. If you have progressed maybe 10, 15 years, you may be a director. 10 to 15 years is a good time to become a sales, operations, purchase director, whatever. And if you have a longer journey so far, if you are 20 years, 25 years, you could be a country business head, you could be a regional function head in a global company. You could have reached, uh, as some of my colleagues have become global business heads, right? Or you could be a regional business head. So it all depends on where you are in your management career journey, right? Make sense? Right. So if you are an MBA student, which is uh, what you need to do is to start with first define what is the right career for you. I mean, you have many choices, right? You could take sales as a career, like I did, though I wanted to be in marketing, but I started my journey in sales with Hindustan Unilever as an area sales manager, became a management trainee there. You could be uh, a technical guy, a production guy. You may join from your, uh, you may be an operations uh, kind of a person and you may join a great company like uh, Maruti, as you say, and you could be on the floor, production floor, as a first level supervisor, supervising uh, maybe a dozen or two dozen or three dozen workmen in multiple shifts. So you could choose that also. You could choose a career in finance. Right. You could join any uh, financial services company and you can do a core uh, finance job risk assessment or you could join some other company in assessing portfolios, wealth management, sales, marketing, or you could join an HR. Even if you're a, from a campus that is strong in HR, you could join as HR generalist or a specialist in recruitment or training and development or whatever. And so these are the various options that you have. So first you need to decide what is the right stream for you to where are you cut out for and where can you be most successful and that's not easy decision especially at that point in life where you still have not that much clarity and I used to get these questions asked at I am therefore hey sir should I take uh, finance or should I take HR or should I take operations and supply chain or should I go into strategy and consulting. Or should I go into sales or sales management? So these are the questions that you need to ask. So what stream of management should you get into is the first question. How do you decide that? Hold your horses. So what we do is uh, in, in the next lecture, we will discuss if you are an MBA student, how do you decide what is the right career for you? How do you kind of understand what is the right career from, from the many careers that you see in management, in sales, sales management, marketing, operation supply chain, finance, HR, R&D, product development and quality. You could also look at those choices. 
right so that's what we will do in the next lecture so thank you so much for watching this uh, first lecture in defining career goals uh, in this course on personality development i hope you are continuing to learn new things continuing to enjoy and i do look forward to see you again in the next lecture if you have any questions do feel free to message me wherever you see this video and i'll be happy to answer your questions for you